Hey guys, in today's episode, we will get you caught up on some action since last episode. Uh, we will also go through the finals of the group stages and let you know how we ended up there and Polkal action as well. And we will also hit the highlights of the transfer window. As you can see, we are into early February. So the winter transfer window has come and gone. And as it slams shut, we've got some new players to welcome. So we'll get into that. Roll that intro and then we'll hit the highlights. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to our Journeyman Save. We're with Club 2, Eintracht Frankfurt. Please consider giving a like if you like what you see. Subscribe and hit the little notification bell. That way you stay up to date on my daily content here on the channel for Football Manager 21. We have two saves going, this one and our single team save with DeGroff Shop. That one goes up Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. This one goes up Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. All releases coming at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. And I believe that's 2 p.m. London time for those of you over across the pond. So let's get into the scores here. Last episode, we did uh, draw with Borussia Dortmund. We had a 6-0 win with over FCN, Aslani, Cernan with a hat trick, Hunter and Lynch with goals. A 1-0 win over Freiburg, and Lynch got on there with a header off a corner. Villem, we played a heavily rotated squad in the last match of the group stage, and we lost that one 1-0. Um, Bear Leverkusen, we beat 4-0. Pretty good win there. They had a player sent off in the fourth minute. And uh, Sorare got a goal, Doyle got a goal, Aslani and Cernan adding to the carnage there. AZ, this was a friendly that we scheduled, and we beat them 5-2 to two, uh, coming through that winter break. Leipzig, 3-1, to one. Cernan with a brace, Doyle got on the score sheet. Dusseldorf, a 1-1 draw, and Cernan scored. Gunderson was sent off in the 58th minute, and that sort of led to the goal as we were a man down when they equalized with about 12 minutes left in the match. So pretty disappointing there. We just beat Union Berlin 4-3, to three, kind of a slugfest. Uh, Abwander with a goal, Sorer, Aslani, and Zhao Kamara scoring in the 90th minute for the winner. And we had to come back from a 3-1 deficit as they scored three goals in the first 25 minutes. And we just lost in the Polkal third round to Werder, 3-2, as Lonnie with a brace in that one. Gunderson conceded an own goal early in the match in the first uh, in the 21st minute. Uh, I had recorded Berlin and Werder, and then uh, I was actually uploading it just a minute ago. Uh, before I started to record this episode, and I decided I didn't like it. Uh, so I deleted it, and I had already gone past it to this point, so that's where we are. So with that, let's jump into transfers. So we have to go all the way back to November 30th, but luckily we didn't have a whole lot happen there. All right, so Frank Ecker, we send him off for 1.1. That's going to raise to $3 million. And he is a 17-year-old German defender. Not bad, not bad, but I think we had quite a few players, and I just felt he was expendable. And he picks us up a nice chunk of change. Frankfurt still has to be a selling team, right? So we've just got to be. Uh, Jopek goes off to Bayern Munich for $42.5 million. The 29-year-old Turk, he has been a very, very good player for us. Definitely will miss him. They came in. He came up in our system, and 29 years old, at that point, I said, you know what? We can, you know, we've got to sell and take advantage of that income. So didn't want to lose him. He wasn't on the block. They came in with a blind bid, and I said, yeah, we'll do it. Uh, Takahashi, uh, one of our midfielders, goes off to Wiesbaden for 10.5. Uh, 
He was, again, a very good player, 17 passing. I really liked him. He's tearing up Bundesliga 2. But if we take a look, we paid $3.5 million. We get $7 million extra in the sale. He wasn't, honestly, he was not a regular starter. Nine starts, two reserve. Uh, last year, 21 starts, two reserve. The year before, he was. Uh, but, you know, just, I don't know. Just, he, I, I saw him struggling, and I saw a chance to cash in. So we moved him on. Uh, Nasser Amara goes off to FCN as well. Uh, second, quite a few players going there this year. Eleven and a quarter million dollars. Uh, he is a defensive mid, only twenty six years old. I liked him. I really did. I just really could not find a consistent place. We paid nine for him. We get a couple of million dollars back. But you can see, he just he really bounced around and was not a regular. So a chance to get some money for him and get some salary off the books. Uh, Yashin, one of our young players, goes off on loan. Bubakar Sam, we saw his name on the score sheet a little bit a while ago. Uh, we decided to sell him sixteen and a quarter million to uh, to Moscow. Uh, he was a number ten and he could play in that central mid again. Very good player, twenty nine years old. We paid twenty five and a half. So we lost our pants on this one, but again, it was just trying to cut some payroll and recoup some money so we could reinvest that wisely. Martin Arndt, one of the strikers. In fact, I believe he was our German striker. 6.75 to Nantes. Yes, he was our German striker. Again, another player that I liked. We paid 8.75 for a couple of years, so we do lose a little bit. But again, you can see he just was not... He never really broke into the side. So not a lot we could do there. And, you know, sometimes you have to take that hit. Coming back, what did we do with the money? So we've sold $147 million worth of players. We have spent $124, so we've got about $25 million, $23 million in profit. Do math. And uh, taking a look at what we have reinvested that in. Mario Reinhardt. For, from LASK, $130,000. I have not recorded this in over a week. As I mentioned in some of the recent episodes, I was going out of state to deal with my mom's estate, my dad selling the house. So, you know, had to go last week. I'm going again this week to try to pick up some more stuff from the house, get it into storage. But let's take a look. So here's a number 10 replacement. Uh, he is Austrian, 16 years old, one and a half star current, five star future potential. He's already pretty good and playing relatively well, but this is a player for the future. But we had to spend some money on him. Uh, Johan Bowden, $3 million from FC Metz, 22 year old French defensive mid and central midfielder, uh, two star current, three star potential. Nothing great, but he is solid. Good tackling, decent passing. Basically a replacement for Tok Takahashi. Just not quite as good, but still solid, right? I hope. Uh, 80000 for Matthias Schaun from Hoffenheim 2. Uh, he's an 18-year-old German. Three and a half star potential. What I'm hoping for this keeper is he'll develop a little bit and give us a German keeper that we can keep on the bench. Uh, for numbers, uh, or we can sell him off for a profit down the road. We dropped 9.75 for Yao Kamara from Getefe. Uh We just saw him on the score sheet, two and a half star current, three star potential, 24 year old French winger. No caps for him, but again, very strong physically, great acceleration, big crosser of the ball. He can dribble, good first touch, good passing like everything about him, and he definitely has all those ratings that Marcelo Bielsa likes. Antonio Fala comes from Montpellier for $28 million. Another Frenchman, I believe, 23 years old, 2.5 and 3.5. And another winger. He's a really good crosser. Uh, we, were, we were looking at both of these guys. I wanted one of the two, and I ended up taking both of them. And honestly... That was okay after we got rid of uh, Sam and then, of course, Yopek. 
we had we had some holes that we needed to fill with depth. I think we picked up two really solid guys there, and uh, Fala looks to be really good. And he was he was listed high. I paid value for him. What he was what he that they were asking for. Uh, we just had a lot of money, and I wanted to spend some. Damn it. Uh, Sergio Gallardo from Chelsea, 26 and a half million central midfielder. He can move up to the number 10, but, uh, more of a true central midfielder. And he's 22 years old, 23 caps for Chile, and he's valued at $35 million. So we got a very good bargain on him, about nine and a half million less than value. So let's go ahead and take a look at some highlights from the first match of today. And we'll flash back to that Pokal Cup matchup here. Of course, we lost this one three to two, but a chance to see maybe some of our new players. Werner starts things off. Again, they got that early goal. Went right through Abwander and Janderson just did not look comfortable trying to stop that ball. There was a nice cross. I thought Sahin should have gotten it. They drive into the box. Uh, Gunderson had to come over because Sahin got beat, and it left uh, Ballard open for a free shot, putting us in a 2-0 hole in the first half. Doyle sitting on a yellow card. Nice through ball, and Aslani crosses up the keeper, sits him down, and puts one in the back of the net, and that made it 2-1. Coming into the second half, they are still holding that 2-1 lead. Notice nobody crossing down and into Ballard at the near post. Lynch does not mark him tightly enough. Janderson gives up another easy goal. He is just frustrating. He has flashes of brilliance and then just gives up something like that. Aslani made the play to get to the ball in front of the keeper on the long throw. He put that one in. And we also missed a penalty in that one. I don't know if you noticed that. But uh, Aslani missed a PK later that could have been an equalizer. So that was the highlights from that match. We are playing Bauckham here in just a moment. So we'll see you for kickoff in just a second. All right, taking a look down here off the sub list. Gallardo is ineligible because, well, in fact, we're going to, uh, don't want to talk about, oh, we just talked about Gallardo, right? We looked at him, looks really good, Chilean midfielder, should be starting for us, yeah. Uh, no, can't play for more than two teams in a season. I missed that when I signed him. I probably would have signed him anyway, but I would have done it end of contract or something or the following year, so I didn't have to pay his salary. Uh, so he's out for the season. Uh, Sahin's uh, suspended for the next match. He's also nursing a cold, so he'll be out for a couple of days anyway, but at least we get the suspension out of the way as well. Mazarek still nursing an injury. He's out for about two more weeks for a pulled hamstring, and Reinhardt is unregistered. Why is Reinhardt unregistered? I'm just going to move him to the U19 squad. So we don't have to deal with that. All right, so we're going to go, uh, oh, Cernan. Cernan's going to be on the bench, but he is injured. He'll be out for two more days. He'll only play in an emergency. We're going to go with Aslani and Jack Hunter up top. Serer and Fala, one of the new players. So this will be his YouTube debut. Doyle and Coley in the mid. Krisnik, Abwander, Lynch, Gunderson on the back line. And Fala lacking match sharpness. That's okay. He'll play until he gets into, into shape, right? <laughs> That's how it goes. Play your own game and you will win. little overcast today for the game. We are in the red and black. It's pouring buckets. And we are on our heels early on in the match here. Oh, there's a nice tackle by Fala, earning his paycheck already. He's got the entire right flank, and he is down there showing some decent pace. It is tackled away, though, by Sabia. So that's uh, maybe something he wants to do is cross earlier, just possibly. We do get a couple of shots there. One on target as Lonnie beats his man. Yeah, he's holding it up, lays it off. 
Tell you what, big recommendation for you guys. If you like flair football, you need to go back. So let's see, by the time you see this, you need to go back to Monday the 8th. Oh my goodness, there was a deflection there, and I think Janderson did a great job staying on that ball. That was huge. Um, anyway, go back to the Leeds Crystal Palace match. Look at the highlights from that match. There is a highlight from Rafinha. He is a uh, right winger that Leeds bought in the offseason window this past summer. Uh, got him from Wren for $17 million. What a bargain, let me tell you. But he does a – he's got his back. He's running, turns his back, does a nutmeg through the guy with his back to him, and then spins and goes around the guy to get the ball. <laughs> it was incredible. One of the best plays I've ever seen. Didn't turn into anything, unfortunately, but it was one hell of a play, and I highly recommend you going to check it out. All right, they're doing a little build-up here. Follows all over them defensively, so that's good. They've got two shots, one on target. Oh, there's a nice little stab by Coley. Oh, Hunter could not get to it. That's that's too bad. Little heel kick by Jarmillo. And that was dangerous by Gunderson. All right, a good interception, but it's hit to the wrong team. Why do we always do that? Both of my teams, in both of my saves, it's always the same thing. They can cross it. Our cross is always going to the legs of the defender. And they can clear it with a header or a kick, and it always goes right to their player. And ours always goes to the other team. I don't understand that. Not at all. All right, not a whole lot happening here. Oh, Krisnik makes a good run back to beat Jarmillo to the ball. That's good. Oh, there's a good run by Serrer down to the touchline and exhibit number 142 right into the defender's legs. <laughs> and we let them just have that ball. That was That was too bad. Hopefully the defense tightens up, keeps playing strong. Look at the ball movement there. And, oof, just wide of the mark, but that had a pucker factor of about 6.5. Gunderson, long lump into the box. As Lonnie could not keep Mietic away from that one, and he makes the save. Oh, good ball movement there. Oh, cross it. No, come on, you got to do better. Well, at least he got the cross off. All right, Doyle, tracking back. Staying on his man. Forcing an error there, and Aslani turns it upfield. You're not going to take it all the way, Aslani. You're not going to take it all the way. <laughs> Finds Krisnik coming up from the left back. Coley into the box and lumped out. Six shots, only two on target. Serrer, good move down the line. Beats his man. There's a cross and it's cleared away. That would have been a good finish. Come on, boys. You know, I haven't really paid a lot of attention to the height of my team. I have a feeling we're pretty short. Oh, there's one. Oh, Fala cannot get it into the net. On target, though. On target. So that's good. Let's jump into our tactic first. All right, let's take off that and hit early crosses. Let's try that. I'm going to take off overlaps. Besides, these guys are attacking and these guys are support, so they shouldn't be overlapping anyway. See if that helps us out. All right, head into the dressing room. We're going to uh, hands on the hips 
and unlucky, maybe. All right. We do have a couple of guys, Fala and Doyle, already tiring. They did not recover through half, so we'll probably have to look at them coming off. Good tight defense there. Let's give them a quick shout to encourage them. And another save on a long throw. I haven't done anything with throws, corners, anything. Nothing. It's all default, whatever the game is. And Gunderson got beat, and Janderson makes a huge, huge save. Oh, my. Wow, that was just... All right, you know what? We're going to pull Jack Hunter off. I'm going to bring Cernan on. We're going to make him a deep line forward. Let's put him up on attack. And then Fala. Yep, let's bring let's bring Kamara on. Kamara's our other new guy. And he's fine as a winger. Is he he is right footed, isn't he? Yes. Okay, so yes, definitely a winger. We'll bring him on and let him try to make a difference. The good news is, you know, so we, now that we have a little bit of depth in some of these positions, we actually have some impact subs, right? Nobody wanted to mark him at all. Just just saying. Oh, no. Twelfth goal of the season. Janderson probably should have had that. Oh, come on. Out of possession. Let's go tighter marking. I'm going to take off, get stuck in. Usually I play with tighter marking. I wanted to, you know, I've been giving a go with the get stuck in to see if that helped us out any. I don't want to watch that again. That's depressing. Uh, we need to go up to attacking and demand more. All right, Lynch, Gunderson, taken down in the box. No call. No call. And it looks like he bounced it off of his own player and gives away goal kick. Krisnik. Again, long throw. Keeper makes the play. We're showing a little bit more here. Well, not there. All right, that was good. Getting control of the ball. Serrere cuts inside, finds some space. Oh, and it, oh my God. He bangs it off the woodwork, hits the backside of the keeper, and trickles across the touchline for an own goal. Oh my goodness. He just blistered that ball from the edge of the box, and that, Honestly, I think he did a great job to keep it out of the net the first time. Just completely unlucky. Just completely unlucky. And we'll take it in a heartbeat. There's a shot, and Doyle finds the net for his fourth, and we have taken the lead. We're going to go back to positive here. We are going to praise them. And that that's what happens when you don't throw it right to the goalkeeper, fellas. Just saying, and Militic went the wrong way. I don't know how he got crossed up there, but we'll take it. We will take it. And we're on the attack again. There's a save. We're into the 65th minute, but we've already made two subs, so we need to kind of have Wander just stayed on that ball too long. There's that famed tackle that goes right ahead to their other guy in stride. You know, he's got a 15 passing. Composure, concentration, decision making. There's no reason he should not be a good ball playing defender. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, we're going to end up subbing Doyle off. All right, let's pull him off about five minutes early. And really, it's a good thing we did not do that because Coley just goes down with a foot injury. Oh, we're going to bring Bowden on. 
Bowden is uh, the new 22-year-old French player. More of a defensive player. He can play everything, though. But I'm going to make him a, let's see, box to box. So let's just make him a central midfielder on support. I was really hoping to make that sub for Doyle. Now we're starting to see a lot of guys dragging. Um, let's tell them to focus. Bowden. Ooh, he gets his first pass completion. <laughs> Reverses field. Find some space. Oh, he just pinged a pass. And Kamara, oh, the keeper got that over the bar. But boy, that was a nifty pass. And Kamara just drilled that one in. Hey, Cat, how you doing down there? All right, Bowden on the ball again. Tackled away. That's okay. Ow, ow. Little thing bit me. Shit. That hurt. Six minutes. Oh, a nifty little heel kick behind him. Look at the space out there. Gunderson stabs it away on the ball, plays it ahead. There's Kamara on the break. Somebody give him a target. Somebody give him a target. And he crossed it right into a defender. Gunderson, I bet it hits somebody. No, he plays it back. There's a shot, and it just goes wide. Cernan should have been on the score sheet with that one. Good stab away by Krisnik. Still three and a half minutes. Good ball ahead. Serrer, it's a cross. And Van Est gets that cleared out for a corner. We'll take it, run the clock a little bit. Back in again, second time, no better than the first. We got to do a better job. All right, Bowden knocks the ball away and then turns around when he sees his teammates on it, so he gives him an outlet pass. Real smart, man. Doyle, he's got nothing left in the tank. And... Of course, he hits it right into the defender's legs. Kamara, what a brilliant play to keep it in play. It's over. Nobody up there, though. Counter opportunity. Can we close him down here? Final 30 seconds. Do not let him equalize. There's a big hook and a clearance out. Thank goodness. Oh, there's a hard foul. And we should be able to milk the clock here. Once we put it in play, should be a whistle. And blow the whistle. There we go. Hard fought 2-1 victory. Couple of subs I'd like to have back. Well, you know, can't do it, can't make the right calls all the time. I am gonna outstretch my arm. No, I'm gonna put hands in pockets. We were poor today. You got away with that. I think that was the right call. We weren't great. We weren't great. All right. Sahin is going to be back. Looking at a couple of scouting jobs. Injury worry for Coley. And he is out. Oh. Well, we definitely send him to a specialist. We want him fixed right. And he's out for three to four months. Which means he's done for the season. We need to pop in real quick. Doyle, you're passing. Good job. 11 in a row unbeaten. That's pretty good. Uh, we do need to go into that central mid and take a look at our depth chart. So Doyle's out with, no. Who's out? Co uh, Coley. So we have Doyle. Gallardo can't play. So he's out. Coley's out. I can't recall from Lone. Krisnik could come up 
and Bowden. I guess Bowden's going to get a lot of playing time. Let's check. Uh, let's see. We could start Gunderson on the right. Sahin, move him to the left. And then Krisnik. I think Krisnik could play that central mid, and he could be a pretty decent defensive player, ball winning midfielder. Hmm. That may be what we have to do. Also, do we have anybody in the development center? Danielle Esposito, I don't think he's quite ready to make the jump. Let's take a look at the squad here. Bonovich, Ruben Lopez, he's 17. Tell you what, he doesn't have pace, but he looks pretty solid. You know what? I'm going to move him to our to the to the big squad, and hopefully he can play. Unregistered. Ugh. Nope. Yeah, we don't have the. Uh, a lot of leagues have that thing. If you're under under 21 or under 19, you don't have to be registered. Oh, that's disappointing. Homegrown. Players signed on free transfers can be registered at any time. All right, so I'm going to have to move him. I'm going to have to move him back. All right, well, I'll do that off camera. I may see if there's anybody on freeze for a central mid. Maybe. We'll go look. All right, guys. Well, again, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell. Thanks so much for coming by. Enjoyed spending some more time with you, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the Groff Shop and in two days for our next video here at iTrack Frankfurt. Take care. Bye.